Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion we're off to Digger's Rest. Digger's Rest, a small township set in rural surrounds, is on the Calder Freeway, 38 kilometres northwest of Melbourne, the state capital of Victoria, Australia. Digger's Rest is not positioned in a protective valley or besides a watercourse like most townships in Victoria. Instead, several streams flow away from the small elevation where the town is built making it exposed to the elements and particularly dry conditions. Digger's Rest origins lay in it being a convenient shopping and stopping place for gold miners en route to the Bendigo and adjacent gold fields, with Caroline Chisholm that also had a women's shelter at Digger's Rest. A hotel was built in 1852 and was opened at the junction of the roads to Bendigo and Buller. A railway station was opened on the line from Melbourne to Sunbury in 1859. A primary school was opened in 1874 and Digger's Rest became a postal village with a general store, post office, Weybridge, Mechanics Institute and a chaff mill. Over 110 years ago in March 1910, two pioneering aviators were camped in a windswept paddock at Digger's Rest vying for the record of being the first person to achieve a controlled power flight in Australia. Ralph Banks was first to take to the air on the 1st of March in an imported Wright Model A flyer. He had barely covered 300 metres at a height of less than 5 metres when a sudden wind gust forced the plane into a dive ending with a heavy landing that somersaulted the plane. Banks was thrown clear and escaped with only minor injuries but was badly shaken while the plane was so damaged it took weeks to repair. His competitor was the Hungarian born American showman and escapologist Eric Weiss aka Harry Houdini who had personally imported a French built Viazin biplane with the aim of achieving the first flight in Australia. After several early attempts were frustrated by strong winds Houdini finally took off shortly after 8am on Friday the 18th of March and flew a full circle of the paddock before landing less than a minute later. Two further flights followed the same day, lasting 3 minutes and 15 seconds in duration and reaching a height of 30 metres. Ever the self-publicist Houdini ensured that a reporter from the Argus, which was a major newspaper in the day, and a photographer were present to record the event and had nine spectators, including Ralph Banks, sign a witness statement recording his achievement. Further successful flights by Houdini followed over the next three days, accumulating in a flight lasting seven minutes and 37 seconds that covered almost six miles or 9.6 kilometers. Houdini was awarded the trophy by the Aerial League of Australia, recognising his flight of 18 March 1910 as the first successful controlled flight by a powered aircraft in Australia. The true honour for the first powered flight in Australia, however, probably goes to Captain Colin de Fries, who on the 9th of December 1909 made a flight at Victoria Park Racecourse in Sydney using the same right flyer that Banks would later use at Digger's Rest. In 1945, there was a large Defence Department communication installations, once occupied fields south of the town. In 2008, a hotel burnt down and fire damaged part of the general store and post office in 2011. And finally, a noted Digger's Rest born resident, it's freestyle aerial skier, Linda Lassela, who won a gold medal at the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver and without further ado let's wander around and check out Digger's Rest.
So here we are nearing the end of this video. And once again, I've left all the uh, resources and all the credits in the description below. So if you want to seek further information, just click on those links that I've placed there. Uh, and if you did enjoy the video, by all means, give us that thumbs up, hit that like key, and please subscribe. Subscribe, it doesn't cost you one cent, but it really helps out the channel immensely. But most importantly, stay safe, commute safe, and have a great day.